as long as it, as it has been, I, I welcome you back to my Let's Plays on my channel once more with the Thai series for, for now. And the second Thai uh, continues on with the Fair Dinkum area. Or maybe in the future it will. I pretty much collected everything I really needed pretty much here. Like everything important has been pretty much like collected. But if there is anything missed, I will come back here later to, to double check. But it's time to leave the area. As you notice there, uh, the bilby I collected from the, uh, at the end of the other video turned into an opal bag here after starting the game up again. So it's another extra 25 uh, on the opals at the start here. And all the opal bags in, in this area also uh, respond from the previous and from the previous video. So even more extra. Um, of those opals are collected on the way back. It's time to go to the wetlands. It's time to go over, over to the wetlands and Bruce's croc farm. Of course, it'll be mostly exploring uh, in, in the area before I get to that game set. took a break from my Let's Plays because I really needed it. Plus I was doing other content too. Hmm, sometimes it can glitch with the opals going like that. There's also going to be some uh, uh, um, the, uh, like a small exploring before even entering the wetlands too, because there is a bilby before yeah, it is at uh, that point. I actually took some damage from the forby trying to get to uh, uh, where it was before it started to start um, the videos up, but it looks like I got lucky. It actually automatically heals the, the, the forby back to full after leaving uh, the southern rivers. These frogs obviously are bad. And they're one of the, the enemies to spot in the wetlands. There's going to be definitely invisicrates here, and quite a few. It's going to have to hold the infrared for a while. I do not have the warp ring yet, and there is an area that will have picture frames later to collect with it. There are a few oh, invisicrates uh, just up ahead. It's a little darker out here. This can actually go quite a distance, uh, um, up, uh, very far. It's it's uh, second version can go way farther. Back to the Omega Ring. There are regular. Uh, for, for, uh, There's a spy right there. Okay, the other switch is probably on the other side. I end up hitting a few while I'm drawing the Omega Ring around. Yep, there's a Belby back there. Oh, there's a Smasher Ring area around here too. I'm totally not going to forget about that one. Right over here. Platinum Cog is within sight. There's the other switch. And another Platinum Cog awaits on that platform. Yep, I almost forgot. There are still some invisible crates around here. I'm going to wait until I get them all before I move on. I'll be getting the X-Ring very soon, and that will be way more uh, better to try to, uh, to do some exploring. 
because in, with the X-ray, you don't have to go into tight view to get the uh, to get the vision to work. There are more uh, uh, on this other other path that leads up to uh, where the uh, platinum cock is, right over here. And there's enemies too, so I'm not going to let my guard down. There is, and there's a crate up here. Right from above. Okay, it's the only other one. It may take a couple of tries to jump for that platform. Okay, I actually got on the first try. That's it for the, uh, the exploring around here. I'll double check with the ties uh, on view and ring vision to see if I still have another crate I need to break. Here in the sonar, obviously, like from the original game, is the way to be able to find find the one nearby. Guess not. Uberfrill is a, it's coming right up over here. Although those those bomb crates are very useful to take all those enemies out. Of Plus, it also broke open uh, a invisible crate that was uh, over here too. I already, I already grabbed the picture frame from it. There are a few um, areas here that are explored off the path. Those spiders can be annoying. Of course, I need to break uh, um, that um, spider web to get to that. And now I can start jumping around. Oh shoot. Yeah, that's why they're, they're really annoying. And they blend in the darkness too. That's another th thing as well. Oh, this area, I'm going to get a bunch of opals here. This actually leads to the secret area off the map. I do not need that. I can go around Omega Rain here and get a lot of opals for it. Talk about a bunch of opals gain on gain. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, there are a few things to collect here, along with the, this uh, platinum cog prize. And just uh, about to the point of the, the, uh, this video of it being uh, in the uh, history books and as future uploading. There is a Bilby over here on the spider web. And I think that is it to collect here, yeah, pretty much. No, there's nothing else. Back to the original uh, on the, uh, wetlands area. And back on the main path. That, that warpering area that I was talking about, I can't go there yet. I need to get to that level that I can. to be put to rest and I'll be uh, on to my next part. See you all uh, that one.